Like so, I got the Razor Casamari Vivo Fire Four Jetta Coffee giveaway. You can see it's appearing on the display right there. And here's the thing. So look, power, this power makes actually power for that. So just to show that low power light. So now if we go over to shut down, shut down the shut down the shut down the machine. It would turn us. It would, the lights would turn off. But right now there's still power, and once the power goes out, we'll be able to charge it. So let's place it in now. And there we go. Now here's the thing: if it's charging, it doesn't turn on the power, which is good. Because that would just the battery would get charged. The battery will be fully charged when I'm done. And this is a big power, so this will have a big amount of amperage. So keep it's running. So right now it's being charged from the charger wheel with my side power charge detector. Do have another power strip there, but that one does not have USB ports. This one does, so just kind of plugged it in the wall. Yeah. So on that power strip there, or just plug it directly in the wall, I have to use like a USB power adapter. With this, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Yeah, now it's, it's going to be protected by many switches. Yep. If we look here, it's charging. Now if I go ahead and plug this, and I press the power button, the, this will see power, and it's actually going to start moving up here, as you can tell. Um, saw the, saw a bit of the look, bit of the thing popping up, and you can see there, it's reading the SD card, and so it's right for a little girl. Um, goes to nothing else but then boost up into the operating system. <coughs> and there we go. And this master Bluetooth, so I can actually use it immediately. And look. Um, and this is exclusive target. You see that the seed is still in there. Well, why is your board simple? Because this is paired using the Bluetooth function. Bluetooth. Look at that. See Logitech and Fire Fifty L, and yeah, and makes the mouse work. Focus. There we go. This camera, the iPad camera, is kind of a transferring, kind of a bit trash. One thing is, if you try plugging it in while the computer's on, just since there's still power going off through all these ports, it's not going to accept the charge. Um, computer's still on, but power wing's not charging. If I shut this out. Put on the power bank. Key will turn off. It's power. I think it's powering off. The key was not turning off though. Oh, I think this is a this is an issue. Um, stuck on the apply my power service, so I gotta actually unplug it. So it doesn't it didn't actually shut down like shut down properly. <clears throat> it's the only time we're ever gonna go plug that is if it doesn't if it fails shut down. It's going through its cycle. Pop it up. Yeah, it is clicky. It is clicky keyboard. Right here. So I'm not gonna do it now. But once it boots up. Very, very clicky. I don't really like clicky keyboards, but in the YouTube giveaway, they want to have this, when they do the custom keyboard here, it's, it, you, they use the clicky keyboard, so, not too bad about it, so, um, plus, the keys are swa swappable, so I could, I could swap them if I wanted to, but the keys are well working, so, that's so I could try to shut it down at this time, uh, and, shut down.
And this time, it actually did turn off properly. The powering turned off, but it's not receiving charge yet because it's still power on the forge. But once the power on the forge, the alpha power turns off, then it's going to accept the charge from that USB charge because you can just see there. If you push it, nothing, nothing happens. Power button is disabled when it's charging. Now, um, this is the Raspberry 500. The Raspberry Pi, uh, the Canon Community Kids uses the Raspberry Pi 3, which uses it in a much smaller power bank than this one. Um, um, but I actually don't know if that power bank actually has pass through power. I bet it does. So you can charge it while you're working on it. But I have, but I bet I have used like a power bank like this that doesn't have that pass through feature so that. The bag gets, gets charged because it has pass through features. The bag actually may not charge because sometimes, the, sometimes like, sometimes like the output, what what the output is connected to might be, might already max out the current for that, which is two for four amps. Um, it might max out the current, so it doesn't want to charge. But still power up. That's still power up the system. Most just pass through. So yeah. So I'll leave it like this, so you can actually ch just charge the battery like this. And the cable I'm using temporarily, this one was the cable I'm going to use on here. This is the cable I'm using temporarily, this is a shorter one. Um, my, <laughs> um, more like we would <laughs> I am going to get the Raspberry uh, Pi 4 power supply, uh, which is the same as the Raspberry Pi 4 power supply. With it. I'll get that. Um, then I won't have to worry about this. Because uh, two four amps is actually not enough to power this up. Exactly. Uh, I have to show you. Uh, but it means I have to put this. Plug this one directly in. And there. You see it boots up. It boots up as normal, as you can tell. So, you see that? That picture there is actually from the person who did me, probably from the original person who was in this apartment that cleaned it. Then clean it was a soft uh, clean spot, clean thing. So you can see it boots up. But if you look, I don't know if it's going to pop up now, but if, if you actually would have powered it from a low power supply up. At that very quantity, you'll see a little voltage. Well, actually, not doing doing it. So it just could be powerful now, but I got to actually, I actually got the Asbury Pi for power supply because I don't actually know how this is working. Oh, because that has like yeah, it keeps the voltage up and not load, but I rather use this power bank. To do it. Okay, I'm gonna shut it down by the connected power supply. Just shut this down. I know it's a long video, but normally that isn't powerful. Normally, uh, I think the Raspberry Pi 400 needs like at least three amps. Like, needs at least have five volts. If it's too low, if if it's lower than five volts, then it will have low voltage power supply and it won't work. So, I think I can actually show you this. Um, if, if I can actually, if I power from my, that's my green race Wii, by the way. Uh, yeah. So, if I plug this in to a, to here, including here, so I don't mess with the, Oh, no, don't mess with the controller chargers. So it does power on. I'm going to say it's uh, powered on. Now, it will power on. That's not, as you can see. Now, it's powered on. Let's see if it's going to power on. But, once it boots up into the operating system, if it does, I don't think this is a power output actually from this power supply actually. It yeah it doesn't. It actually doesn't. 
surprisingly enough. But if it actually has like just enough power to boot it up on on the top right of the screen, we'll say low voltage power supply. So like this one's just not enough, there's just not enough power. Uh, actually, let's see if we can actually turn this off. I just turned it off and no, no display yet. All right, let's, let's plug back in and see what happens. Boots up the same. But I gotta make sure that it's supposed to use a little bit of the background. This is off. It's, oh, 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 I saw that, I saw that. The Raspberry Pi logo. The, <laughs> and it's not booting up anymore. But yeah, like if you use a low, if you use a power supply that's, that the voltage is too low for this Raspberry Pi, might not display, but even if it does display, I have a lot of the voltage. Let's take that part here. Because I think it's actually overloading the stand thing. Uh, let's see, let's run up some plug just directly into the, into the dock, switch dock. But yeah, like what I'm saying is that if the power supply is that powerful enough to run this uh, Raspberry Pi 400, um, it either wouldn't display or display on the top right on the screen a lower voltage power supply. I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna do that now. No. So it's not gonna put off. Anyways, but the thing is, the thing is, if. Alright, hold on. I'll get a hot one. I got another power supply here. Do us there one. So I plug this in. I know it's a long video, it's gonna be boring. Alright, so it's turned itself on. This way here you can actually see the super wireless max. Now I don't know if that can gonna boot up or it's a fire. Boot up actually. So things gonna boot up actually. And this house like oh it did. Cause no thing nothing went away. And there we go. So this is actually the same it's actually up with the same amperage as that one there. Come on, there we go. So You can tell it's working. <laughs> From the, this fast fire, but this fast fire would have low voltages and high volts to prevent this power bank. Um, it might be just because <laughs> this one doesn't really have a, lot, a huge amount of resistance for the cable. In fact, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna use the one. For my old brother, kind of gas card. Uh, what I'm using for my uh, is because I can't find my actual, uh, I can't actually find my, I got a cash card. I don't know where it went. In my hand house. Um, it's stuck. Oh, great. I just unplugged up. My switch is used. Uh, plug it back in. Oh, come on. Uh, uh. There we go. So it's gonna keep flashing. Alright. Got this one here. This is true. There we go. It's plugged in. Let's make sure the micro is nice plugged all the way in. And it is. There you are the keyboard and the slices. This one, this cable does have a, a fair amount of resistance. It seems like it boots up fine. It seems like it 
Get the fire, you see. See, it's, it seems like to put a fire, actually. But I might actually have to use a key, but that doesn't. I just keep it for you to continue along, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys later.